I don't just want to build a compiler. I want to build an environment that people really want to use, that they crave to use. So that's what we set out to build. And we didn't get, I mean, we didn't start there. Our tools were okay, but uh, they were okay. Right. right. So it's been a process of iteration, and our goal is always to, to get to this magical place where there are, you know, you want to lost over these tools. Uh, you want to be in love with these tools, and that's what we're trying to do. G'day guys, uh, today I have a very special guest, Miguel de Caza. Uh, hey, how's it going? What was your initial vision of Xamarin in the beginning? What happened is that towards the end of our stay at Novell, we built this product. I mean, Novell was focused on the server because of SUSE. And uh, towards the end, the iOS, uh, you know, iPhone came out and there was a lot of excitement. So we built a prototype. Mono is highly portable, right? And we've ported it to everything under the sun. So we ported it to the iOS platform and we built a prototype to build, uh, to access the native APIs. And uh, we released this stuff and people started to use it and we started to sell it and people really enjoyed it. So we kept investing and adding more and more and more and filling all the gaps that people asked that by the time that Novell said, uh, you know, by the time that Attachmate acquired Novell, right, and they laid off the Mono team, we knew what we wanted to do. While Mono had struggled in the open source world because of this political campaign, what happened in iOS and in Android was people really didn't have the political motivation. This open source requirement of, you know, and this anti-Microsoft thing did not exist. So C Sharp and iOS and Android flourished because people, it was not in the radar, they didn't care. It was an issue that open source people, free software people care, but it didn't matter to these guys. So essentially, I mean, it was obvious to anybody that it was another issue, but basically Mono flourished on Android and iOS. So we had this product that we're building for the server, and then we had this other thing that we were excited about and everybody else was excited about. So that's what we wanted to do. So Xamarin was always about building great mobile development tools. That was it. I mean, we wanted to take the greatness to a great platform, and, um, and, and that's what we did. Right. What is the current vision for for Xamarin, has it changed a little? Is there? No, I mean, uh, our driving motto, the way well, the way that we talk about what we're doing, and the way that we resolve technical challenges and disputes, and you know, should we do this or should we do that, or are we, are we going to implement this dialogue or not? Are we going to add support for this or not? Our our driver is uh, to delight developers, and and what I told now when I called him on the phone uh, when we we're starting the company, he was on vacation, and I took him out of vacation to do the company, uh, to become CEO. I, I was like, Nat, I want you to help me to build op to build developers tools that are the objects of desire. So we, I don't just want to build a compiler. I want to build an environment that people really want to use, that they crave to use. So that's what we set out to build. And we didn't get, I mean, we didn't start there. Our tools were OK, but uh, they were OK, right. right? So it's been a process of iteration. And our goal is always to, to get to this magical place where there are, you know, you want to lost over these tools. Uh, you want to be in love with these tools. And that's what we're trying to do. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much for your thank time, you. Miguel. Thank you. Appreciate Come down it. to Australia. Uh, next, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and this is uh, Adam Kogan signing off for SSW TV.